Welcome back from boy band to food stand. Former NSYNC member Joey Fatone, now the small business owner of Fat Ones Hot Dogs. He joins me now in the studio. Joey Fatone, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining us. No problem. Those pictures are amazing, aren't they? It's what? like dancing to wieners. <laughs> It's true, yeah. but what a career you've had. You opened your first hot dog and Italian ice kiosk yep. in Florida. Mm -hmm. uh, I know you have an interest in food. You, you've been on the Food Network yeah. a lot you know, uh, for yeah. years. I dabble a little bit in the, in, the, in the culinary world. Nothing like no chef or anything, but you know, I've had fun with it. So how come you decided to pursue this? Why not? Yeah. Um, I guess, you know what, just being, uh, of course, being born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, always going to Coney Island, always getting a hot dog, getting Italian ices with the little paper cups. I don't know, of course, a lot of northerners know this one. I know where you all fold about it. the Brooklyn paper. Girl, right? Here, exactly. You. you stuck with the paper cup and they throw it away. Um, you know, I always wanted to do something. And a lot of celebrities, a lot of people always slap their name on as something that they don't know much about. Or they just go, oh, yeah, I always wanted to have a restaurant. But they don't know anything about the business. So this gave me a really great chance to kind of be hands on with every. I mean, we've, I've done everything from the tastings to picking the logo to picking the cups to do, doing every single thing and naming everything. So it, it's been a great process and exciting. And so far, so good. You know, that, it's only been like a week is, or so. And you're behind the counter right there. We're looking at this picture. Yep. So you, you've been on. <laughs> Chopped on the Food Network, Correct. right? And then you've got rewrapped yep. uh, as well, hosting that. Yep. You could have picked any food to build a business. Yeah. <laughs> How come hot dogs? I, majority of the world, I think, loves a good hot dog. And I think for us, we never really thought about the competition. We just thought about something that would be fun and exciting to do. And we did different things, like, you know, we have uh, one called Gone Hollywood, which has guacamole, shredded mozzarella cheese, diced tomatoes. We have a little five mini hot dog sampler that has actually a sample of all of them called a boy bander. Mm. So it's all these little funny tongue-in-cheek kind of things, but they're, you know, they're 100% beef. They're great hot dogs. We have one called the fat one that's uh, basically 100% Angus beef, so yeah, it's been fun. The, uh, you opened the first kiosk last week, right? Yeah, what, what's the, what's yeah. the reception? Everything's been great. The crazy thing was is I was actually very humbled and overwhelmed, believe it or not. It was literally a four-hour wait. People were out there waiting in line, and the, the, the most gratifying thing and satisfying thing, I guess, was people were, were cool with it. They knew that, obviously, it's a kiosk. It's going to take a little time. It's not my own restaurant yet, but I mean, hopefully later on down the line, I want to do something, but I'm, I'm keeping it small right now just to slowly graduate and grow because I don't want to slap something out there, like I said, and have this big hoopla and all of a sudden, what if it tanks? Yeah, but you know what? I'm amazed when I see the lines like uh, at a food truck, mm -hmm. at a kiosk. People want that. They just want the ease and the, uh, they you know, want just the to fast. go up and yep. get the kiosk and grab something. Exactly. They want it fast. They want it now. Yeah. And now we try to provide that as much as we can. So where do you take the business now? Do you, do you expand nationally? Um, do you... well, later on, we'd love the franchise, but right now we're, we're, we're just actually working a little bit in Florida. We're going to take some of them down south as well. Uh, hopefully do a food truck is what we'd love to do, we were just talking about, and maybe go across the country and have fun with that. But also, you know, just start expanding, but very slowly. I think we're, it's not going to happen maybe as far as have them in every place in every city. Yeah. Probably the next maybe five to ten years. So far, so far it's been great. Numbers have been great. Obviously, with with malls around this time, it's a little bit slow. But around November, December, it's going to start picking up even more. But our numbers have been exceeded over more than most people that are in the mall, which is great. Great, Joey. Congrats. Right. Thank you very Good much. Good to see you, Joey Fatone. There. Come